Hello guys, Luke here and welcome to another tech video. This time we're taking a look at my new uh, Sony camcorder that I bought for filming videos on the channel. It is the Sony AX53 camcorder and I can hear you asking now, Luke, why did you buy a camcorder for filming YouTube videos when really I, d I don't really vlog that much? Um, and the reasons that I have chosen a camcorder to complement my setup uh, will become apparent later in the video. I'll explain it later, but first of all, we'll go through the camera itself, uh, the specs and everything. I won't be going too deep into camera specs uh, as there are many other videos online and there's other like spec sheets you can look up online that have all the specs for this camera. Um, I'll put a link in the description as well to the full spec list for this camera. But basically uh, the MSRP in, in Australian dollars for this camera is around $1,300 or $1,400. It's quite high. Um, although I didn't pay anywhere near that for this camera. This is actually a second hand model. Um, I only paid just under 900 Australian for this camcorder. Um, and of course I bought the microphone, the boom mic on top as well, on top of that. And But we'll get to that in a minute as well. So the main reason I bought a camcorder to complement my setup uh, is there are some things a camcorder can do that a mirrorless camera is not that good at, uh, such as stabilization. So the first thing I will show you is the stabilization on this system. It is just brilliant at stabilizing film, uh, especially in handheld mode. Um, when holding my RX100 Mark III, which um, I'm filming this video on right now, and speaking of which, if you wanna check out more about my previous camera, the, the camera I'm using right now, um, there is a video that I did a year ago where I told, I mentioned why I bought the RX100 Mark III as well. Back to the camcorder. Um, there are some things it can do, like such as stabilization, um, high frame rate video as well. It can do like 120 FPS 1080p, which I'm really excited to use as well for slow-mo sort of B-roll shots. Also, just the fact of having a second camera for the setup is great because I can get multi, multi views, like multi camera angles and everything, uh, especially for tech videos. So this camera is basically for uh, tech videos, not so much for the gaming videos because I'll still be using my RX100 Mark III that's mounted right now on the tripod. So the first main reason why I purchased this camera for the channel was because of its BOSS stabilization system. BOSS stands for Balanced Optical Steady Shot, so BOSS for short. So the BOSS system in this camera is basically like a gimbal system. It's not really a gimbal, but the the center of the camera with the sensor on it sort of floats freely, so to speak, inside the body of the camera. And we can see it work really well. I'll show you um, a short clip here of it. You can see how steady the film is using the BOSS system. So that is one reason why I bought this camera for tech videos. For tech videos, I use a camera in handheld mode a lot. Uh, so this will really help keep those videos nice, crisp and, and steady as well. The RX100 Mark III does have stabilization settings on it, but it cuts into the uh, resolution a little bit to keep it steady. Onto the second reason why I bought uh, a camcorder for my setup as well was because it has a hot shoe mount. Um, I wish the RX100 had a hot shoe mount so you could mount uh, lights, you could mount uh, microphones to it. But for future VR and tech videos, I should be able to use uh, the microphone on top of this camera now, which is the Rode Video Micro Shotgun Mic. Uh, it's a very, very small gun microphone, um, but it should do the job. And it's got this massive uh, dead cat, which will uh, block out a lot of uh, background noise and wind noise as well. I'm also planning to film outdoors with this, maybe not for the channel, but just in recreationally and um, this would be great at blocking out wind noise and other background noise. Now, another reason why I bought a camcorder, uh, well, I didn't really need to buy a camcorder for this, but I wanted 4K capability. Now, even though my videos that I make aren't in 4K and they probably won't be for quite a while because I just love uh, 60 FPS basically, and this camera does not do 4K 60, it does 4K 30 and 4K 24. So good for like movie type, you know, frame rates, uh, but not ideal for what I want to put on the channel. But what's handy about having 4K on a camera is that I can film a video in 4K and then if I need to zoom in in editing, um, I will not be cutting down the resolution to like 720p or 480p if I zoom in. Um, it'll of course go from 4K down to like 1440p or 1080p depending on how far I zoom in. And that means like when I upload the video in 1080p to YouTube, it still won't lose any quality because it still won't be lower than 1080p resolution when I zoom in. So now for this camcorder, I didn't actually do an unboxing of this camera. I've already unboxed the camera, but of course I've got the box here next to me and um, I'll just show you what you get in the box with it as well. Um, you don't just get the camera body itself. You also get a couple of cables. Um, for example, this one here is a micro HDMI to HDMI male, handy for uh, connecting your camera to a TV to display the footage or pictures. Or of course, I can use this to go straight from the camera to a capture card and capture straight to my PC, which is probably what I'll be using this for most of the time. It also comes with a micro USB to USB male 
uh, basically for charging the camera, for copying footage off the camera to PC. And the last thing included in the box is actually this brilliant battery charger I have next to me. I'm not usually a big fan of battery chargers. I usually just charge my cameras via micro USB, like I mentioned before. Um, I don't really ch take the batteries out, charge them in an external charger because it's just another step you got to take. I've actually been using this quite a bit because um, I bought my camera used, as I mentioned before, and it came with another battery, a second battery. Um, so what I've been doing is I've been using one battery in the camera and then putting the second one in this charger. And at this stage in the video, I feel like I've talked about the camera and its accessories enough. So now I'll actually get this camcorder into my hand and give it a bit of a test because I'm still using the RX100 Mark III, of course, that you're watching me right now. So I'll give the camcorder a bit of a test and get back to you. Okay, so here is a field test of the Sony AX53 camcorder. Um, I'm just staying in my garage for now to test it. So as you can see, guys, as I pan around with the camera in handheld mode, it doesn't move right as much as I thought it would. Um, it actually feels like it's on a tripod Pod. it's that smooth the gimbal inside the camera is working hard at keeping the image stable even though if I move it fast like this move it fast around it's still very very stable um, sorry if I look to the right a little bit I'm looking at the screen <laughs> the screens to the right um, but yeah uh, hopefully the sound the sound quality is good as well um, I haven't really done a recording test of the sound quality on the uh, shotgun mic either so you guys can tell me if you like uh, what sort of quality it is whether you like it or not but um, hopefully it will be good for outdoor filming because that's what I'll be using for the most, I guess. Um, but also it's tech videos as well, but I'll probably still use a Leverly mic or my uh, Rode NT USB mic possibly for tech videos, but I'll be, I will be using this camera to film as well. Oh, another thing, I've had to play around with the color correction on this camera. Um, when I left the color correction to auto, it gave it a really cold, like cool color filter and uh, it just made everything look icy, like look like winter. So I've had to switch it to a warm color palette and now it should look more natural. Um, I've had to turn that from auto to warm to out. It's actually on an outdoor color setting, <laughs> funny enough, even though I'm indoors, because it just makes it look too cold when I set it to indoor. Okay, so that does it for my video on the Sony AX53, my new camcorder, my new uh, addition to my camera selection here at the studio. Um, so I've got a bit more range uh, for what I want if I want to film something different. I've got many many options for filming But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below subscribe for more content like this and I will see you guys around the channel All right. Have a good one